The movie begins by introducing the main character, a boy named, Sam. He was living in a small house with his colleague. Whenever he was alone in his house, he always used to look at his friend's picture, with whom he loved a lot. But due to the reason of his family, his friend married another man. But Sam is still having the same hope, that one day I and my friend will live together. He and the man living with him work on a farm and make a living. These people go to the art museum every other day to steal food. That was there for special guests who came there. One day, a woman in the art museum suspected Sam and his friend, that they must be doing something wrong. The woman asks them their names, and then the manager of the art museum comes here. She herself asks Sam, I did not recognize you. Can you tell me your name? When Sam tells her his name, she checks the list, she finds out that their name is not in the list, but they come as an uninvited guest. Sam then tells her that we had come to eat, we are very hungry. The manager says, okay, eat, you can wait for the guests to leave, after which you can take the remaining food with you. Sam thinks, wow, she is of a very big heart, but if I take the remaining food, is this a good thing? No, he started feeling ashamed. And then after a while, a very big artist comes here, who is very famous for his art. Because whatever is going on in the world, he makes his paintings and presents them in front of everyone through his art. His paintings were sold many times more expensive than 10 million dollars. Here the artist also finds out about Sam, and also that he is a very poor man, and is living here from Syria without a passport. With this, the artist began to take an interest in Sam. In the evening, he takes him to a bar and tells him that, I want to make a painting of people like you. That is, people who go from their country to other countries, and there they have to face so many difficulties. Through him, I want to show the world, how difficult it is for people like you to get a passport. Now, Sam tells him his wish here that I want to go to Belgium, because my friend has gone to live there with her husband. The artist said, your helplessness will succeed me in my goal. Sam was surprised and said, sir, what do you want from me? Then the artist tells him that I want to make a tattoo on your back. And all my thoughts are related to this. Anyway, after finishing the work, when Sam goes home, he looks very happy. Because today, after a long time, he was talking to his friend Abir on a video call. Both were very happy to see each other. Sam tells her to come with me. Come to me, we will get married, we will be very happy. I can do anything for you. Abir replies, okay, I will come. But for now, I am looking for a good job for myself, which I will come as soon as I get it. But by then I will have to stay with my husband. Hearing this, Sam is very sad. Because he was thinking that this means Abir, will stay with her husband for some more time. Then her husband came there. Seeing this, Abir immediately ends the video call. This thing made Sam feel so bad that, he made the final decision to go to Belgium. Because he could not tolerate all this anymore. But he has only one way to go to Belgium. He will have to work for the artist. And now he goes to the place, where he had to make a tattoo on his stomach. There he talks to the lawyer of the artist. Who was telling that Sam, we will get you to sign an agreement. After which you will have to sell us the skin of your body. Not by cutting, but after signing, it will become our property. On which we can do anything, we can use it anyway. And in return, you will get millions of dollars. Now hearing this, without thinking, Sam signs the agreement. But he did not imagine that this one sign of his, is going to change his whole life. After this, the artist started his work. He makes a tattoo on Sam's back, which was of a visa. A visa with which he can easily go to some countries because he wanted to show how difficult it is to get a visa. So the helpless people have to hide, which this tattoo was clearly showing. After completing the tattoo, the artist tells Sam that, I have made a living tattoo on your back, which will cross all the limits. I have very good hopes. He then gives Sam a passport and visa, so that he can go to any country and show everyone his tattoo. Sam himself was very happy about this. Then the next day, Sam and the manager of the art museum were sitting in the plane because they were going to Belgium. Thinking the same, he is so happy that thank God that, I got a chance to meet Abir. He comes to the hotel in Belgium and calls Abir many times. After many calls, she picks up his video call. Sam was clearly able to see that Abir's mood is very bad. He says, Abir, I want to meet you. I am also in Belgium. But their conversation was incomplete. Because Abir's husband comes in the middle of the call. And he says to Sam, Sam, you have come to Belgium. So you are also our guest. Come to our house to eat. We will welcome you very well. Well, after this, Sam's tattoo pictures are made. He was not happy with this photo shoot. He did not like to sit without a shirt. 
To fix the situation, he also talks to people. But it was of no use. After the shoot, the manager calls him and instructs him to call his mom. She must be very worried about you. Anyway, now the tattoo on Sam's back shakes the whole world. Everywhere he and his tattoo talks were going on. When he himself comes out, he gets his tattoo pictures on every board. Now, he had become famous, but during the shoot, he faced a lot of difficulties. Because he used to get ready again and again, and keep him sitting for hours. Because millions of people used to come to see him. Moreover, during this time, even if he talks to any of his fans, even if he moves a little, he used to get scolded. That poor guy just started thinking and getting worried. But what is this? Don't I have any importance? I just have a tattoo. I don't have any existence of my own. I have no right on this. And after this, he came to his bed and started remembering his old life. A year ago, when there was a war in Syria, the situation was very bad. But even in this atmosphere of war, Sam was very happy because of his friend Abir. One day, they met on the bus. Abir tells him that I am going to meet a man, because I will get married to him. After hearing this, Sam became sad. Abir says, look, I am not going by my own will. In fact, because of my mother, I have to go with him. And I have to get married. I love you madly. I want to marry you but I'm just helpless. Sam now sits on his knees in front of Abir for fun to fix her mood. When they got up and started going from there, he happily said, My Abir, I love you very much. Will you marry me? Then he started asking all the passengers in a funny way that is there a priest here or is there a man who can get us married right now? Seeing this, a man starts singing a song while laughing. All the people including them start dancing. The next day, when Sam was at his house, two police officers come. Who arrest and bring him to the police station. Actually, the police officers thought that Sam was a spy, terrorist. Because he had said words like freedom on the bus. Which seemed strange in the atmosphere of this war. An officer comes to him and asks, You tell me yourself, who are you? Where did you come from? What do you want to do? But after a while, when the other police officers came here and there, she says to Sam, Look son, I am your dad's friend, so I know you. You run away from here immediately, because I know you are innocent. But if by mistake the accusation put on you is true, then you will be hanged. Sam does the same. When he does not have any officers with him, he runs away through the window, and came straight to Abir's house to meet her. The same man has come to see Abir for marriage. As soon as she sees Sam, she comes to him immediately. Sam was telling her that I can't stay here for a long time. My life is in danger. I have only one way to survive. That I leave this country Syria and go somewhere else. Because the government has accused me, and proved me a terrorist. Now to help Sam, Abir calls the man who has come to see her. Who is her husband at present? Because he works for the Syrian agency. She tells him that Sam used to study with me. He is a very good friend of mine. I believe in him, so please help him. But that man says that I do not know whether he is innocent or not. He has not committed any crime. Sorry, I can't help you. After hearing the refusal, Sam had no other option. He says bye to Abir and leaves from there. Now Sam's sister was seen, who was sitting in her car and going to another country. At the border, the soldier stops the car and starts investigating her. Is this an illegal thing, or is she taking an innocent person with her? The soldiers did not get anything special, so they let Sam's sister go. After going far, Sam comes out of the car seat, because he was hiding there all the time, and his sister was helping him to leave Syria. Here his life was not in danger. He arrived in a new country without a passport, which was quite different. It was not so easy. Then the story comes back to the present time. Sam was resting in his hotel room when a man comes to his door, who was an officer sent by the Syrian government. He says to Sam, we have realized how difficult your life is here. The artist has done a lot of wrong with you. And now we want to catch him, for which we need your testimony. Without hearing anything further, Sam slams the door on the officer's face. Because he was angry that earlier this government of Syria was going to kill me. And today they need my help. At night, Sam calls his mother on video, who is angry with him and says, What are you doing? We are very worried about you. Do you know, because of your tattoo, your relatives are saying so badly. That Sam sold his body for money. He started explaining to his mother. My dear mother, you don't worry. They're getting jealous of me and talking about such things. Because wherever I am today, they can never come there. The next day Sam got the address of Abir's house and reached there. She is very surprised to see him standing outside her house. He lies to Abir that I do small jobs from the art museum here. 
and because of them, I was able to come to Belgium. Both were very happy to meet each other. They hug each other, but they didn't realize that Abir's husband had seen them. The next day, Abir's husband brings her to the art museum, so that he can prove that Sam lied to her about his job. When Abir finds out the truth, she got scared. She was worried about Sam. Abir's husband started misbehaving with Sam. They fight. In anger, his husband breaks a very expensive painting. So he is arrested. Although Sam was saved by the artist's lawyer. The same night, Abir came to Sam's room. And started talking about what happened today. Then Abir gets a call from her husband. Because he forcibly sent Abir to Sam. So that she can talk to Sam and the police release her husband. As soon as Sam finds out, he tells Abir that the law is not in my hands. So I can't do anything about it. Now he had so much humanity that to help Abir's husband, he threatens the people of his art museum, that if he is not taken out of jail, then I will join hands with Syria. I will testify against the artist. Then he will definitely get a big punishment. After hearing this, unwillingly Abir's husband is released from jail. He himself wants to run away from here. Because he was bored, he did not want to be anything made by the artist. So he makes this excuse that my mom is very sick. I have to go and ask her. But the manager understands that no, no, there is nothing like that. He is just making false excuses. This is how his life was going on. The poor man was made to sit in front of people for hours like something. One day, the artist sees that pimples are being made on Sam's back. He got nervous. In anger he says to Sam, what are you doing? You can't even take care of my art properly. Immediately after that he is sent to the hospital to treat the pimples. At night, a beer calls him and says, Sam, I am worried about you. How are you? Are you okay? But Sam understood that I can't cheat her by vows of love. I will not be able to do anything. We will never be one. Then he lies to her. That a beer, the thing is that now I have fallen in love with the manager. You be happy in your life and forget me. Saying that he cuts the phone. He was sad at night. So he video calls his family. Where everyone was very happy that Sam has sent us money. From which they bought good food and all the necessary things. But after a while Sam's attention goes to his mother's legs, which was cut. Worried, he started asking about it. His mother said, son, don't worry, I am fine. Just the wall fell on me, so I had to lose both my legs. Sam was very worried by turning off the phone. He also cried a lot. He was thinking, what am I doing in my life? Neither am I taking care of my family, nor am I doing anything for myself. Just being someone's art, like a piece of art. I make people happy. The next day, the poor man finds out that a rich man has bought me for $10 million. The reporter asks him, after all, how can you sell your art made on a person? Is it possible? To which the manager came to answer. Says, we have also used law in our art. So we can sell any person and can also buy. We have done a lot of work for this. After this, we are shown the story of nine months later. Sam's auction was going on. To buy him, people were fighting with each other and were setting his price. But suddenly something happened to Sam. He starts cursing all the people who came. As soon as he takes out the earphone from his ear, as soon as he shows everyone, everyone starts running from there. There was a chaos, because everyone was feeling that this is a bomb pin. By doing this, he starts laughing a lot. But in the end, the poor man himself goes to jail. Because of the situation, he was so tired, that when the lawyer came to talk to him, he says no that I am not coming out. Let me stay here. But when he sees that Abir has also come, so he comes out. Abir explains all the things of the lawyer to him, and tells him that I have left my husband, and now I always want to stay with you. They spend a lot of time together. They were thinking about what to do next. Then everyone came to the court. Sam's lawyer starts asking for bail for him, although Sam himself is not happy with this. But what the judge tells now, everyone is surprised to hear that. He tells Sam that now your visa is over and you will be sent back to Syria. No one can do anything about this, because this is our law, and no one can change the law. When he comes out, reporters surround Sam from all sides and ask, are you not nervous and scared? Because right now your price is in millions of dollars. But Sam just gives one answer, that I have no answer to these questions. I am just happy that now I will be able to go back home. Now after a few weeks, the manager was watching a video on her laptop, Sam reached Syria, but the terrorists there killed him, and removed his tattoo skin, and sold it in the black market, which was somehow found again, and brought back to Belgium, because no one else, but the artist bought it again. The artist then puts the piece of Sam's tattoo, 
on the wall of his museum. Even after death, poor Sam was left on the wall as a showpiece. But here the story takes a different turn. Actually Sam was not dead. He was still alive, and was living happily with a beer in his village. The skin of Sam's tattoo on the wall of the museum. It is not his real skin but it is fake. Which the artist made, because the artist knew, that I will not be able to keep Sam with me for a long time. So he made a story of Sam's fake death, due to which the price of his tattoo increased by a lot. Sam and Abir got married. They are very happy, and enjoying their life of freedom.